Hey, 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 happy day. Let's talk about bringing down the house. To bring down the house. Sharon Hornell from here, also known as Pajama Grandma. I like to hop on every day and talk about or look at an idiom or an expression that is really, really common in our culture and in our daily lives. And some are super common that we've heard of and some we have no idea where they came from, but we use them every day. I use expressions in this book and I actually had the meaning of them wrong, which is kind of embarrassing, but that's how we learn. So bring down the house. To bring down the house, of course, is from the theater, and it means to get people to clap enthusiastically or loudly over a performance. Um, the house, back as early as the 1700s, well, even before the 1700s, but by the 1700s, it was a popular saying. Performers called the crowd or the audience the house, and they also called the building of the theater was in the house. and if a crowd went crazy for your performance and they were clapping and hooting and hollering and enthusiastic, a lot of times the noise and the vibration would actually shake the roof. And that's where the expression comes from, bringing down the house, because it sounded like the roof was gonna cave in when people were you know, clapping enthusiastically and really, really excited about a performance. And the goal became of all performers then to bring down the house, to have a really stellar, awesome performance. Now I've been to some incredible performances like that where the crowd went crazy, the crowd went wild. All different types of performances in the theater but also business performances and conventions and things like that where people get really excited and enthusiastic about the material that's being presented. So it's not only in the theater that you can bring down the house. My sister and brother-in-law owned a comedy club in the 1980s in Dallas, Texas and I remember I lived in Dallas at the time. I went to a lot of comedy shows and it was so fun to be a part of those audiences and those performances when the comedian just killed it and brought down the house and people were crazy. And it was an old building and it did sound like the whole place was going to shatter when the crowd went wild because people at comedy shows tend to get really excited and they don't just clap, they hoot, they holler, they jump up and down, they stomp their feet, they, they bang their glasses, they go kind of crazy. It's just fun. It's fun to be a part of that energy. I've listened to TED Talks and been at TED Talks and at conventions and presentations that brought down the house. So you don't have to be a superstar performer like Lady Gaga or I wanted to say Elton John, but now I'm just aging myself, <laughs> or anybody that's famous to bring down the house. I've actually been to movie premieres and movie, present, movie theaters where the crowd went crazy after the show was over. So it can be in a lot of different settings and a lot of different ways. As long as you are giving value to the people that are around you or you're serving them in a way, you can be the superstar and bring down the house for them. Um, I think of my customers and I want to make sure that they're delighted about the value that I provide to them, each and every one of them. Same with my family. I want to make sure that I am serving my family to the best of my ability. And I would just want to be a superstar mom or grandma to them. It doesn't matter what the rest of the world thinks as long as the people I love and care about are happy and feeling served. The same is true of our businesses and of our customers. As long as our customers are delighted and excited about our performance, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, right? So be the superstar, bring down the house for the people you love and care about, the people you serve the most, and who cares what the rest of the world has to say or do. That's what's most important to you, and that's how you build your business and supersize your business, by delighting your customers and making sure that you're the superstar performer in their eyes. All the rest, it's just ancillary. Go out, make it an awesome day, bring down the house today, and I will, of course, see you tomorrow. Bye.